do not fear. That's the phrase that comes up all over the Bible. That's been our theme for these devotionals in 2021. Do not fear. This week, I want to focus on one way that I think will help us with our fear, and that's perspective. I remember playing in a game years and years ago in California at Chapman University. This was before I went on to play at OU. And on this particular game, we were playing the Los Angeles Angel Scout Team. And back then, being on a scout team actually meant something. There were, there were a handful of scouts there to see me play, and I knew this because I had met them. I, I had answered their questions. I had filled out all their questionnaires. But when I saw all of them in one area, knowing that they were judging me for every move I made, and then realizing that my dream of playing pro ball was ultimately in their hands, talk about anxiety, talk about fear. By the middle of the game, I had a couple of strikeouts. The fear was getting to me a little bit. It was so noticeable that one scout came up to me in the middle of the game. I was on deck. He comes up to me, I'll never forget it. He was a scout for the New York Yankees, Dave Keith. And he said, hey Rick, how old are you? He knew how old I was. I had filled out all his questionnaires. But I said, I'm 18, sir. And this is what he said. He said, Rick, there are kids your age right now in the military fighting for our freedom and their lives. You're playing a kid's game. You're playing the game of baseball. Relax, breathe, have fun, trust your abilities. You have no idea what that comment meant for me. Right? He gave me a new perspective. I was going into every at bat thinking that my life was on the line if I failed. And to a certain respect, my, my, my dreams of playing pro ball were on the line. But, but nobody can have that kind of success with that kind of mindset. Right? I was putting so much pressure on myself. Some of you guys need a new perspective if you want to play the game of baseball without fear. So our verse today comes from Psalms 107, verse one, and it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Guys, if you spent some time to think about all the things that you're thankful for, gratitude could give you the perspective that you need. This can allow that fear to slowly drift away out of sight. Because we know that, that fear will paralyze us in baseball and in life. Give thanks to the Lord. I mean, think for a second. Even if you guys went 0 for 10 this upcoming weekend with 10 strikeouts, talk about an awful tournament. I guarantee Every single one of you guys will still have a bed to sleep in at night and a meal and, f and food to eat, right? You're not going to get expelled from school and lose all of your friends because you made an error, right? Really, what, what are we going to lose? And you guys have so much to be grateful for. There's kids your age that they don't know where their next meal is coming from. There's kids your age that aren't healthy enough to play baseball with their, with their friends. And there's plenty of kids who love baseball, that are good at baseball, but they don't have the means, they don't have the money to play club ball. You have friends that care about you, coaches who believe in you, and families that love you unconditionally. Most importantly, God sent Jesus to pay the ultimate penalty for your sins with his life's blood so that by faith we could be placed on Jesus's winning team. Give thanks to the Lord. We all have so much to be thankful for. So when you step foot on the field this year, have fun, play free, let it fly. Do not fear. You have nothing 
to lose.